Hi, Trouties. Oh my goodness, I am so incredibly late today and I apologize for not being here at 1 p.m. Central as we have established. So we're gonna have a little story time and I wanna tell you why. <laughs> and then I'm gonna share with the things that I wanted to share. Fortunately, the thing I had to rush home for finally was delayed and yes. So anyway, for those of you that don't know this crazy person who has come running in here and just started yelling things, my name is Sierra Bailey. I am the designer, maker, and everythinger here at Manic Trout. And on Fridays, I go live and usually talk about something jewelry related or style or about Manic Trout. But today, I'm so frazzled. It's just story time with Sierra. So, which is a great new segment because it can be whatever. <laughs> uh, so this morning, I had a lovely lunch with some ladies that I worked with when I was doing the live TV and video work which you know not not I if you haven't noticed I haven't really been doing that right now may not be done forever but we'll see and I like two weeks ago had had a weird car situation like we live in Austin there's a lot of traffic here there's been a lot of construction in the past few years on the freeways so there's a lot of stop go stop go so like two weeks ago I was on the way to a meeting for something I volunteer with in my car just all of a sudden like wouldn't change gears like it, it was crazy and I fortunately I like put it into park this is so tangent story time uh it wouldn't do anything and I got a little panicky and I called the car place and they were like oh we're really I think it was a Friday and they were like you can drop it off early next week but we are pretty booked and I was like I'm going away I'll just deal with it when I get home then like the next day some woman hit my car in a parking lot she very nicely waited for me to come out and uh, that is going but it was like another car thing and then i had to go away for my sister's baby shower back to new york so then today i've been back for like a week i've had all these things crazy things to do and all that so i was at a lunch today um and like i said with the some women i had worked with when i did the live tv and on my way there, it happened again, but like really bad. And I fortunately just was able to pull into a parking lot and shut my car off. And when I turned it back on, it worked again. <sighs> Very stressful. So I got to lunch. It was right around the corner. And then I called the mechanic after lunch and I was like, should I, I now need to bring it in. Should I wait till Monday? You know, what do I do? And they were like, that's fine. So I, at this point it was like one o'clock and I'm like, I'm supposed to be live right now. If I rush home, I'm going to be like 20 minutes late and then I will be able to do my normal live video. Well, on the way home, it happened again. And I had called my husband and I, he, who was at work. And I said, listen, I'm going to be going through downtown because I'm not going to the freeway. Come rescue me if you need to. So I, long story short, I made it to my mechanic a little bit spastically, but then I had to wait for my husband to pick me up and I had to drop him off of work and come back. So I'm like two and a half hours late for Facebook Live Friday. And that's my crazy story for today that has nothing to do with jewelry, but many, many apologies on being so late. And I will now probably try to keep it shorter, but I'm sure I've already rambled on for a while. Share what I really wanted to share with you today, which is kind of fun and piggybacking on the October, uh, uh, what do I call them now? The, the menagerie. I don't think it's French, but anyway, so we have four new necklaces. Three are available in also silver. Now, for many of you Trouties out there, for a long time, we've talked about the potential of silver. And you'll notice in the last year, I've been trying very hard to make anything kind of like the new collections that are done, uh, plated in gold, are now also available in silver, which is awesome because I know that silver is a little bit, uh, has come much more into style recently. So a lot of you have really been asking for silver. So in case you don't know, because I, on Facebook the other day, somebody hadn't realized that this had happened, I think all, all of the collections that did not involve like, like all of the regular collections, like spring, summer, and fall, winter, all the jewelry like that, like what I'm wearing, like the endless memory pieces, these all can be done in gold or silver because silver doesn't photograph as well. Um, and I tend to send, like I said, due to the more photographing thing, I send the gold out more often. So at this stage, I have been making just the gold for the photos because I'm overwhelmed at making doubles of everything still. But I'm getting better about that. But I wanted to let you know, because I don't think many people have realized this at all, that I've started getting the animal plant, like that kind of thing. Those, um, I can get a lot of them plated now. Not all of them yet. It depends on, um, they are, I don't know if you know this, the animals are vintage designs that are, have been being, like they're like 100 year old designs that are stamped out of brass. 
So it's actually, that's why I always enjoy like the vintageness of them. And I, I like them to get the patina of age on them because it tends to lend to the design. So all of these things that I'm getting are actually like a vintage design. And that's what led me to these to begin with. And there are a few different um, manufacturers in the United States that make them. So I go through all their designs and then select which ones I want to get stamped. So some can plate, some cannot. I'm not to the point, there aren't enough of them that I am like going to another, like I'm trying to get them plated there when I am ordering them, but you're not ordering them in the abundance that I, that it makes sense to go to like a plater. So not everything is available. If I can't get them done by the places, by the manufacturers at this point, you can't get them. But I want to say that like 80% of them can be plated. So I wanted to show you of the new designs that came out for October, what the silver version looks like. Okay, so, I can't remember the names of the necklaces. Mixed something. Okay, so for example, this is the thistle in the gold version, which is brass. And this is the silver. And see how I have it done so that it looks very vintage-y? Um, they do a beautiful job, and I'm very pleased with it. So you can see these are the two differences. So you can order, like this one, in the silver or the gold tone or brass. Um, I also realized the other day that I have not put up the matching earrings yet, but those will be available too. So not only can you now get the silver option, it does take two extra weeks, and I... It, is like, it's a little bit of an additional cost because I have to pay to have it plated. But you also now can order, I don't know if I've talked about them in the videos, you can order um, extenders. So you can get like a three inch extender to go for the back of your necklace. Uh, and some of you don't like to have the extra chain and we've talked about this. So there's also the option of just requesting it to be longer and you can ask for that in the comments. So that is the thistle. And when you go to any piece of jewelry at manicchart.com, if it is available in silver, the option would be right there to choose the silver option. So you'd know as soon as you went onto that page. I am working towards getting photos of everything. There's just so many photos to do, so I haven't done that yet. So these are the ferns. Ooh, I almost like the dimension that the that the plating does to it. Isn't that nice? I like that. And the other one, I will say that the zebra is not available in silver at this time, but the spider is. I love this guy in the silver. I, you know, I really, it almost makes me, there's a, I can do something to these that make them have like the antique look. I haven't gone that far because I know that some of you do like them to be shiny and you can keep them shiny with polish. So I do make it to that option as so possible. So here you can see, we'll just, we'll kind of cheat a little bit and you can see. So like, that's what that guy would look like in silver. Isn't that nice? Doesn't the silver look nice with the onyx? And that is with that. So you can see those options. And I, I am so behind on production right now because of traveling last week. But, um, I, so we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna, we're gonna hold up the there. So there's the fern uh, the, just on top of it. Um, many jewelry pieces to be made this weekend and the thistle this is sad because i don't have a whole necklace made <laughs> so there you go so this is the silver there just like that it looks nice doesn't it i like the silver version so as um as i mentioned a few minutes ago anything on the site that you can get in silver it has it right in the drop down now it's really easy but i also a few trouties have mix and matched as I know many of you have done with the normal brass colors, but you can also do that with the silver. So I had um, Laura, who is an avid collector of Manic Trout, had the fluorite from the mermaid done in silver. And I, I thought maybe, I think I shipped it to her. Um, and she requested a, I don't have it over here, a silver version of the trout. It looked beautiful. It was kind of, I put the fluorite on Facebook the other day when I was doing that. It looked really pretty. So you have options like that as well. But other than um, that is what I kind of wanted to talk to you about. And I'm still kind of consumed by my crazy car story. Just to finish that, I as I said, I made it to the mechanic and it will now sit there all weekend and on Monday they will fix it I uh yeah <laughs> you know when you get to the when you've had a car it's like you know you you own the car and I, I don't know if you, I paid it off and I don't want to 
and have car payments. So I have a feeling a few things like this are going to happen in my life in the next year or so. <laughs> um, but I apologize again for being so late today. I wanted to make it though. I'm trying to keep it kind of short because I'm not at the regularly scheduled time, but I know so many of you watch these after they are live anyway. But thank you so much if you made it live today at this very odd time of day and have a wonderful weekend. Thank you for listening to my story. I hope you all have a safe and car trouble free weekend. And if you have any questions and comments, you know I read everything in these videos if you're watching them later. Please put the comments right below. I'd love to have a conversation with you. I, of course, am always around Facebook for messages and things like that. You can email me. I'm on Instagram, Manic Trout, Twitter, Follivore, Pinterest, you know, all the pretty places. And I, of course, have everything at ManicTrout.com. But I will be back next week. Two weeks in a row have been a weird times. I will be back next week at 1 p.m. Central for Facebook Live Friday. I'm Sierra Bailey. This is Manic Trout. And thank you for watching, Trouties.